Hi. I think we're live. But we're going to take a moment. I'd welcome you. We're just We're just going to get started. In a moment, I'm going to wait till that magical hour of 11 so that people can come on and join in. But I want to say hi. And if you're already here, let me know. Put a little click on the like page. Um, that helps us know that you're here. And honestly, this is new to me. Facebook Live is a big deal. It's a new thing, but it's new to me. And um, usually I am with my community right here. And I know my community is right here. You're just outside the computer. It's just a little strange, but it's quite all right. So here we are. 11 o'clock, that magical hour. And I want to welcome you into my home. Thank you for joining me in my home today. It's lovely to have you with me. Welcome. Here to calm together. So if you just tuned in, if you would please just take a moment and like the page, let us know you're here. And that helps others to be able to view eventually as well. So let me introduce myself while we take a few moments for people to connect. I'm connecting with you. I am Marlene Fritsch. I've been teaching yoga at Cancer Caring Center for close to seven years. It's been a joy and oh, what a wonderful community. I also, this week, Wednesday of this week, will be celebrating 23 years of being cancer-free myself. I was diagnosed, had my treatments, surgical lumpectomy, um, chemo, and radiation. And since then, from then till now, I've had plenty of other life-challenging adventures. So through all of it, I have learned, studied, learned so many ways to feel better. And that's why I'm here. Okay, so that's who I am. I've taught yoga for about 13 years now. And I've taught to children, to teens, to young adults, older adults, um, assisted living facilities, seniors with chair yoga. My oldest senior was 108. Can you believe that? And she's lifting her legs and she's doing everything that we're doing. It's beautiful. So there's hope for all of us. But anyhow, why I'm here is because I really, truly, truly believe that we can all feel better. Always. Sometimes we just don't know how to do it. So that's why we're here together calming together. When we're calm, we're better. So let's get started. Here we are in the times of uncertainty with a coronavirus that has nothing on you. Cancer has looked uncertainty in the face continually and all of the other things that go along with that, the jobs, the finances, the everything everything. And when we're in a time of uncertainty, the thing that matters most is constant. What is constant? I want constant. Well, what's constant is the breath. It's always with us. Always. Sometimes, I mean, sometimes it's choppy, sometimes it's loud sometimes it's very quiet it's uh racing slow it's all kinds of things the breath what just like us but it's always with us but all of these ways of the breathing are involuntary they're ways that the body is helping us to cope with whatever's going on in life 
in yoga, we have pranayama. And pranayama is a way of working the breath. So instead of it being involuntary, we can actually choose a way of breathing that can help us in every situation to energize, to relax, to calm. And so that's what we're gonna do. Have a seat in your chair. And again, if you just tuned in, please say hello by liking the page and um, don't worry about anything. We're just here to relax and be calm. Let's do it together. Okay, so sit back in your chair and put your feet flat on the floor. And I would say if your feet do not reach the floor, maybe grab a little pillow or a book or something because it's good to have the feet on the floor. You don't want to be leaning forward and hurting your back. We love our bodies so much. That's why we're doing this. So start by sitting in your chair. Get comfortable. Close your eyes for a moment and just notice your breath. That's all. Just notice your breath. How is it today? Is it choppy? Is it smooth? Is it quiet? Or is it loud and racing fast? Or maybe Sometimes when we're so fatigued, it feels like we've got to just drag that breath. Take a moment. Notice how your breath is today. And then we're going to move a step further. You can keep your eyes closed. And begin to feel the breath. How do we feel the breath? So take an inhale and maybe you notice as you breathe in, the breath comes through the nostrils, very, very cool. And as you invite the breath in, Feel it warm from the body and on its way back up through the nose. Feel the breath being a little warmer. Do that again. Feel the breath coolly enter through the nostrils. And slowly. Exhaling through the nostrils. And then as you inhale, your next inhale, and really don't worry, it doesn't have to be smooth, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's your breath. It's you and your breath. That relationship, that's all it is. But it's wonderful. The more we can develop that relationship, the better we are. So let's do that. Perhaps as you breathe in through the nose, feel that breath expand. The rib cage may be expanding outward. Maybe the heart lifts up to open. And on the exhale, feel the breath. Knit those ribs back together and perhaps the belly begins to squeeze, squeezing all the breath out with the toxins and a bit of negativity, anything that we don't need. And let's do that a few more times. 
breathing in, feel the breath, fill up, let go, relax, enjoy feeling the breath. It's wonderful. Bringing in everything we need. And on that exhale, turn it around. Let it go, let go. Feel the ribs knit back together and squeeze out everything you don't want. A few more times, breathing in. And breathing out. So simple. So good. Now pause and assess for a moment. How do you feel? You can open your eyes. Hi, still here. You still here? Breath is still here. That's for sure. Good to see you're here. Thanks. Okay. We're in this together. Doing it. Getting calmer. Moment to moment. Thank you so much. Okay. We're going to add on here. So, if you've ever tried to sit quiet and meditate, some people laugh and say, no way. My mind just never stops. It's so constant. Thinking, 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 thinking. Well, we call that monkey mind. Well, with good reason, because you ever watch monkeys at the zoo. Chatter, 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 chatter. That's how our minds are. But we have a mantra. A mantra is a word or a phrase that we use, and it's a job for the monkey. And when you give a monkey mind a job, it can let you go. So let's try that. Let's try giving the monkey mind a job. A mantra. I'll give you one. Um, this one that we're going to use right now is on the in-breath. And now that you know how to breathe in, and again, doesn't need to be perfect, no, no judgment. It's how it is at this moment. Quite right. So, breathing in, I calm my body. Just even hear or feel that word calm. It's wonderful. You didn't have to memorize this. I'm going to say it. So you can just feel it. How about that? At no extra charge. So breathing in, I calm my body. Breathing out, I smile. So smiling is so underrated. It is so valuable. When we smile, now sit there and try it. Sit, stern. Get a smile on. What does it change? It's lifting, not just the corners of the mouth lifting. It lifts the heart, it lifts the mind, it lifts the soul. It's very uplifting and there's a chemical that it activates in the brain, dopamine, which is a feel good. And when we're feeling good, we're feeling better. So that's why we're using this as our mantra today. There are tons of mantras. You can find your own, you can look them up. Google knows everything. So breathing in, I calm my body. Breathing out, I smile. So come back to feet on the floor. Sit nice and tall in your chair, but be comfortable. Let go of any perfection. No expectations, just enjoy. Close your eyes. Breathing in, I calm my body. Breathing out, 
my smile. Let it emerge on your face. Feel good. Breathing in, I calm my body. Breathing out, I smile. Breathing in, I calm my body. Breathing out, I smile. Breathing in, I calm my body. Breathing out, I smile. Calm. Smile. Calm. Smile. Relax. Feel the calm. Take a moment, assess. Has anything changed? Your breath, your body, your stress. Okay, so you can flatten the eyes open and take a deep cleansing breath. That's another breath that we do. Deep cleansing breath is in through the nose, nice and full and deep, maybe the deepest breath we've taken all day. And exhale through the mouth. Oh, that feels good. So a deep cleansing breath relaxes the muscles and it lets go of stress, toxicity, negativity. It's really a wonderful thing. If you're in the midst of angst, it's a wonderful thing to do. Just take a deep breath in and exhale, let it out. And if you want, you can add the movement, inhaling, and exhale, just walk forward and let it go. So now we're going to use the breath in another way. We're going to use it to relax our muscles by moving the muscles. The muscles don't just relax all by themselves, okay? When we move the muscles, we relax them. So try this. In your chair, sit up nice and tall, and just turn your head to the right and back. Doesn't matter, it could be to the left. And now take a breath in, like we've been doing, that nice, full, expanding breath, if you can. If your lungs aren't up to it, bless them. Another day. But just do it a little bit slower, kinder, gentler. But breathe in. And in your breathing in, lengthen through the spine. Draw the crown of your head to the sky. On your exhale, slowly, slowly turn your head to the right. Pour the breath into the neck and notice how the muscles just begin to stretch. Not too far. Inhale back to center. So in our movement, we go 75%, breath 125%, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, rotate that head to the left. Pour the breath into those neck muscles relaxing the mouth so they can stretch inhale back to center exhale draw your chin to your chest draw the belly into the back inhale back up reach the arms all the way up on a deep inhale and it's okay if your shoulders are fussy or tight and you can come to here it's your lifting and that's what matters, okay? So lift to where you go, 
Honor your body always. We love our body so much. Inhale, reach, 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 reach to where you can. Stretch, releasing those tendons from tightening so close to those bones. And interlace your fingers. Press down, press away. So palms are facing out. Inhale, lift back up. And stretch straight up. I don't look straight here, but I'm straight up. And then float your arms to the side. Right arm comes behind. Left arm reaches up. Take a breath in. Exhale, reach over your head stretching that left side of the body and again just go to where you're where you are and be happy that you can move at all inhale lift and switch left hand comes behind right hand to reach deep breath and then pour the breath into those side ribs open them up stretch it out one of you felt open, how good that feels. Inhale, lift. And bring your hands to your knees for a little cow cat in a seated position. So draw the heart forward. So reach the heart forward and arch the back. Can you see? Yes. So my back is arched here. And then we press the belly all the way to the back. When we do that, the shoulders round forward. And then we roll back up through the spine. Inhale, sitting straight up. Exhale, draw the heart forward. Lead with the heart. It feels so good to lead with the heart. I... And press the belly to the back. Round up. Lift up, fill up. Exhale, forward. And belly goes to the back. All the way back up. One more time, forward. And this time you can glide the hands all the way down the legs. And if your body allows it, just fold forward. So the head, bye, sinks down. Then slowly, slowly, glide back up. And arms come out to the side. Inhale. Exhale, bring them to the shoulders. Inhale. On the exhale, bring those elbows together with a little resistance. And on that exhale, the belly goes all the way to the back. Squeeze all the breath out. Inhale, open up. Exhale. Inhale, open. Exhale. One more time like that. Inhale, open. Feel the collarbone stretching out, separating one from another. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale, together. So I'm not sure why I don't look even here. I am even. Um, I'll work on that. Okay, so roll the shoulders. We're gonna do a little bit for the legs. So I'm gonna turn my chair a little bit. We're gonna inhale, lifting the leg. Exhale, stretch it out. So when you exhale, pour the breath all the way into those leg muscles. And feel them stretch. Stretch through that heel. Draw the toes towards you. And then take a breath in. On the exhale, roll through that foot. Mine looks nice and big here. And point the toes. That stretches the whole front of the leg. Then inhale. Come back to center. Do it again. Exhale, flex through that heel. Pour the breath. Stretch the back of the leg. Inhale. Exhale, roll through that foot. 
And exhale, point the toes. Feel the stretch in the front of the leg. And then lift that leg up. Place that foot on the other knee, if you can, okay? Your body might not work that way. And if it doesn't, you can just cross them at the ankles. And we're just going to reach forward. So if you're seated like this, hands come to the shin and stretch forward. Feels so good on that hip. Stretch it out. And then lift up. And put that leg back where it was. Other side. Inhale, lift. Exhale, flex through that heel. Here we are. Inhale. Exhale, roll through that foot. And reach the toes. Inhale. Exhale, flex through that heel. Feel the back of that leg. Stretch, pour the breath into those muscles. Stretch them out so they can relax. And then inhale. Exhale, roll through that foot. Point the toes. Stretch all the way from the hip to the toenail. The big toenail. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Good. And then reach that leg up. If you can. If you can. No worries. And that foot goes on the top of the other knee. Hands on the shin. Lift up and reach forward. Ah, stretch out that hip. Doesn't that feel good? Stretch. Pour the breath in. And lift up. Put that foot back, put your foot down, and just a couple twists. Take your hands, if you have a chair like mine that has a nice um, handrail or, or sort, hold on to that, or you can hold on to the bottom, or you can hold on actually to your thigh. So whatever you can hold on to is best. Lift up super tall, so feel on the in-breath, reach that crown all the way to the sky, deep breath. Exhale, rotate. Rotate the spine now. Be very careful with the spine. If it's super fussy, just breathe into it and intend to turn. Or if it's okay, as long as you don't have sharp pain. If you have sharp pain, you stop immediately. So breathe in. And if the twist is available, go for it. The breath is always available. That's our constant here. That's why we're doing it. So even if you breathe intentionally twisting, you get a benefit. And then come on back, other side. So hold on to the other side of the chair, wherever it works for you. Inhale, lift up tall. Reaching the crown of the head. Feel the vertebrae separate as you reach super tall. And then rotate to look over that shoulder if it's available to you. If not, enjoy the breath and lengthening the spine. The more we can lengthen the spine, The more our nervous system is nourished, come back to center. We always want to nourish our nervous system. Reach all the way back up, super tall, super, super tall. Maybe climb up the sides of the body. And then reach both hands, and it can be down here as you know. Inhale, lift, deep breath. Exhale, soften everything at the same time. And then sink all the way down, if you can. When you get there, take a deep cleansing breath in through the nose. Side out through the mouth. 
let go of all tension, fears, fuss, stuff. Another deep cleansing breath. Clear it out. Clear it out. Let it go. And when you're ready, roll back up through the spine. And your arms out to the side. Inhale, lift them all the way up. Palms to touch overhead. And lift your fingertips. Set your gaze beyond your thumbs to the fullest possibilities. And then draw your hands to heart center. One of the gifts of uncertainty is we don't know what's next. And sometimes it opens us to the possibilities of something that we have never even considered. That's what's happened with my uncertainties. Moving into the next phase, it sometimes is just unbelievable. So, breathe in calm. Breathe out a smile. Let it broaden on your face. What a fabulous day. Thank you so much for joining me on this day.